Hello, another update on the D9R bulldozer and as you can probably see I've done quite a bit more than we did last time. None of this is actually fastened together. It's all been loose fitted. Um, basically so that I can paint it without, with it without too many problems. A couple of things that, um, that, that I need to mention that come as quite a surprise when I was putting this together. When I put the roof on, on the cab doesn't fit as well as you might think it would and you can maybe see there there's quite a lot of filler all the way around it which is unfortunate the Aerial at the back, I think I mentioned that I broke it off. I happened to find another one off a, off a Challenger tank that I built that was a spare one. So I've stuck that on and when it's painted, I don't reckon anybody would notice it. The little handles I mentioned last time. My fingers are a bit clumpy for doing that. Little handles I mentioned last time. I knocked another one off that disappeared into outer space, never to be seen again. So that's been made out of a little piece of wire. I've mentioned the wires out the back here. The hatch in the roof opens quite easily and doesn't actually fit down as well as it, it could do. It pops up again. The doors I've already shown you. What I've done now so far is I've, I've put all the little bits that are in the instructions, as many as I possibly can do, onto the cab and that is basically finished. Let's sit it on there. So we've done 17, 18, 19. I haven't done number 20 because I want to, I don't want to paint the, the the hydraulic hoses. I want them to, to be natural. So they will go on after it's been painted. Section 21 is for the Israeli Defence Force bulldozer, which I, I, I've chosen not to build. 22 is simply gluing the cab down onto the uh, onto the hull onto the the engine mountings again 23 is is all about hydraulic hoses which I'll do later the running gear on 24 is again a little bit disappointing it doesn't seem to fit together as well as it should do as I say I've not fastened any of this together yet so that I can paint it all and it will all come apart. I'll pull this one apart first and as you can see again there's an awful lot of filler in there all the way along this seam along the back this joint along the back has had to be filled and most of it is on view so you, you couldn't not fill it. These two pieces here don't join together level at all you've got to fill them so that they're, they're, they're level across the top there. I've glued them together and I've put the mechanism for the, 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 the blade, the arms of the blade in there. So that's all fixed in. These two wheels are fixed in permanently, but I haven't put the wheels on the inside. I'll show you them in a second because I want to paint that to make sure that it's, it, it's all painted inside. And if you put the wheels on, that won't happen. You won't be able to, you, you won't be able to spray in there. There'll be gaps all over the place. So, essentially, I've made all the wheels, I've put them all together. They clip in really quite easily into the frame. It takes a little bit of, uh, of jiggery-pokery and it's in there and it revolves then. Um, and that, that happens with all, all, all eight on each side. I did try them before I decided not to put them in, but this bit here is quite flexible. So that you can get the, the 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 wheels in. So that's that. As I say, a lot of uh, a lot of filler used on the um, on the seam along there. It's the same on the, the the one on the other side. Exactly the same thing. Gaps all the way along it. I've put together 
the front rams these two pieces come off and I'll go on when it's all been painted those two tubes hydraulic hoses about me those two hydraulic hoses there in the kit are two plastic two plastic rods that come down go through this this cover and then emerge on the other side in real life of course they disappear inside the inside the the, the machine onto a hydraulic pump somewhere but what I found was that when I've glued the, the the rigid pieces of plastic on you could no longer move this and if you did move them you would snap or certainly deform quite badly the two plastic hoses so what I've done I've cannibalized them and I've cut the ends off them there and there and then I've glued them into Go, put the tubes on and glued the tubes into it so it's it, it's got a couple of silicone tubes in there now when we put the blade in it will it will all move together if necessary and you know if you want to pose your your machine you want to be able to move the exhaust and the air intake Simple enough, self-explanatory, a little bit of uh, photo etch to go around the, the air intake. A uh, couple of handles gone on here and there. And, uh, nothing much more I can show you on there, to be honest. So that's that. The, the main drive wheels are put together. The cotton bud there is so that I can paint them. I can hold them with a pair of tweezers when I'm painting them. Uh, the hard oh I'll just tell you about the, the light structure the light structure here goes onto the top of the rams it's painted a different color to the rams so uh, it, it makes sense to leave them off until it's all painted and when you see the the, the mechanism there's a, a, a pin inside that goes into that and it, it locates really quite easily a little bit of super glue on there and it'll fix easily very few pieces of brass on this model there's a uh, there's a whole sprue of parts of, uh, of photo etch but very few that actually go on here there's the two pieces there which i have absolutely no idea what they're for and there's a couple of bits on the cab one on each side which is a registration number of some kind and the piece around the the air intake that's about it there's not much at all so that's it for the hull and the running gear the tracks <laughs> bit of a nightmare um, I put a, another little video within this the, this video and as always there's the, there's quite a lot of pictures um, as you probably already noticed they're really quite fiddly those tracks um, turn one upside down it took me quite some time to work them out what I've also done is I've not fastened them together here I want to paint them first put the whole kit together put the whole model together then fold the tracks around to make sure that I've got the right length and what I found was that it the, the instructions tell you to make 43 links however that doesn't tell you whether it includes the PV uh, the, the yellow plastic ones at uh, one end and I've made 43 links and it was too long so I had to take one out which <laughs> was a bit of a pain to be fair but there you go the tracks themselves th there's not a lot holds them together you gotta be very careful with them um, but if you if you're careful and you let the glue set properly before you move them again, they're fine. You know they're, they're really quite flexible.
flexible. And that's about it. That's about where we're up to. So it's uh, everything on the on the running gear, all of 24. We've also put, as I mentioned, the um, 25, which is the, the main drive wheel. Put the tracks together, 26. 27 is for the um, Israeli Defence Force version, so it's, it's slightly different. So we've done this part here, which is uh, on the on the cab, which is these steps here, which also incorporate the two two lights in there. As always, I've left the glass out because I'll put that in after I've painted. Air cleaner and exhaust pipe are put together. There are two versions of this. It says this version is for the Israeli version and this way round is for the one that I've built. However, I've done it that way because it was easier. I don't it, I don't think it matters. Don't think it matters a jot personally, but there you go. Uh, the brass as I've mentioned are put on there and it's quite clearly noted which, which version you're, you're building here it's bc there so that that fire extinguisher simply doesn't go on again there's a different uh, configuration for the front hydraulic rams for the blade but that's that that's number th section 30 is out because it's the israeli version that's the version that i've done and you can see clearly the two different versions on there and we've done this one here this is the bits that the, these are the bits that I mentioned earlier for the, the front hydraulic rams. These are plastic and they don't bend at all. They have got score marks all the way down them, but they're still very, very rigid. And because it's such a short distance between there and there, that's going to I think it's going to break it. It's going to snap if you if you use those. So as I say, I've replaced those with silicon rubber. What else we're done? Um, the Israeli version has a different configuration for these lights at the top. So that uh, 34 is out for the, the, this version, and done all of 35 again, leaving the the glass out. And next video will be putting the blade together. There's not much of that. So I'll be putting the blade together, which is. 36, 37, 38 and 39 and hey ho, that's it, it's all gone. So, what I propose to do then is when I get the blade done, I'll do a little video, as I say it'll only be a short one, because I'm not going to fix any of this together until I have the whole thing finished and painted and when it's painted then I'll assemble it. So I've got quite a lot of little bits there all hanging around doing their own thing. But I think it will make it a lot easier to paint it while it's in, in, in major bits. Paint this, paint the running gear in two sections, paint this, paint the tracks. It's going to be a lot easier to do that. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the, uh, the comments box below. Any comments, good or bad, please leave those as well. And it would be great if you could like and subscribe. Thanks very much. Ta-da.